Hi, in this video, we'll see how to implement the chain lock object for the custom model pool program. So the use of chain lock object, if you want to capture the changes made in the values for, uh, for a table object ID. So that changes we can easily see in the standard table CD, SDR and CD POS. The prerequisites for is that for the table for which we want to capture the changes the data element should be marked as a change document so let's have a look at here this is my model program for the employee master so all the data i am storing in a table so as per the prerequisites mentioned in my document go to the table so those are my fields and those are the data element for the fields we want to which we want to capture the changes should be marked as the change document so let's have a look at this marital status this is my data element so in the data element tab for the characteristics we can see this is marked as change document so for all the fields for which we want to capture the value changes should have the mark as change document so this is the first prerequisites for implementation of the chain log object Second, I have given here the steps which are involved for implementing. So first, we have to create the object class in the T code SCDO. Second, we have to add the include program which is generated in the first step in our program. Third, while saving our record in our program, we have to call one change document function module which is again generated in the first program. Then for the function module, we have to pass the old and new values. Then finally, we can see the changes which are done in the CD, SGR and CD, POS table. So we follow the each step. So as we have seen the first step here for my table, I have three data element where I have marked as change document. So now let's move to the second step for creation of the object docker object class. So T code is SCDO. Click on create. Here give the object name as ZEMP underscore master2. Click on continue. Click yes. Again yes. Save in a request. Give a meaningful description. Here we have to provide a table name. So this is my table name for which I want to implement the chain lock objects. So here I'm passing the values as a structure. If we want to pass as a table, then we had to select this checkbox. So in current scenario, I'm passing a single value at a time. So this is the structure, not as a table. Press enter. Click on save. Like button. Select the record. And click on generate update program now here we have to provide the function group name so we'll keep both the name as same click on generate click yes so system automatically generates the multiple include program one function model function group okay so those are the objects which system generate automatically so we have to use two objects from this object list in a program one is this include program ending with the type cdt this you this top include program we have to add in our program move at the top here we have to add that include program which is generated second step which I have mentioned now add the include program from the generated chain lock object this step we have done second while saving add the function model which is generated in the SC DO program now these are the object list so this is the function model which is generated by the program copy this function model so where we have to add this uh, this function model where we are 
where we have written our the routine to save the object so this is my routine to save when i'm clicking on save button so this routine gets called so here i have i want perform routine change log so i will just comment my old one oh first we have to activate our object class actually Wait, this will give error okay so we'll just come again here now this is generated but we have to activate it so just click on activate button now we can see the objects are activated now again come to our program click on pattern enter the function model name okay so this is called here so we need to declare an internal table of this type and one object id okay object id is nothing but the primary key of our table okay so in the top in the data declaration part first we have to add this include program which is generated here top include second we have called this fm in our program third step is declare what what internal table gt underscore ictxt type standard table of cdtxt just declare this as it is declare one variable as object id this will be the primary key of our table the tag should be cd sdr object id now again come to our program the function module so as i told you the object id will contain our primary key of the table pass object id here the code is system decode time will be system time date will be the system date and the username the user who has done the changes this will be again the site you name here the internal table which we have declared gt underscore so this internal table we have declared just copy here now important thing uncomment this object indicator as we are capturing the changes made to the existing values so this indicator should be you here for this table Z EMP underscore master header update indicator we need to pass as U. Now this N is standard uh, is stand for the new values and old is for the old values. So we have to pass both old and new values to the function model. So I have my old values new value in the GS underscore master. And my old values are in gs underscore master underscore o activate it okay again some error oh now it is okay first have a look at my program so what I have done whenever the t code is uh, executed so initially I have stored my all the values in one table see before calling the uh, before calling the function model of chain log object first select the old values for that particular employee id in one structure which is called as underscore o with old values so then we have to pass the new values from the screen in this structure the new values we have to pass in this structure and old values in this structure system automatically capture the changes at the field level okay so execute 
enter the employee ID PH120. Okay, let's put a uh, debugger here. We'll put a debugger here. PH120. So this is my existing data. So here the marital listed is blank. So I will just select as married. I will change the data but here. We'll change the blood group. Let's say opposite to and change one more field designation senior consultant. Okay, so we have done changes in the marital status in the date of birth in the blood group and the joining date. Now save the record. Now before saving first i have selected from the database my existing values in the structure gs underscore master underscore o now my view new values are from the screen in this structure so let's have a comparison these are these are my new values here i have the data but i have a blood group o plus and the gender is m the marital status is m okay now have a look at the old values in the old values data point is different blood group is a positive and the marital status of bank and also the designation is blank in the old structure press effect record successfully now how to see the changes which are made so there are two table one is CDSDR, which is the header level table, and second one is the CDPOS, which is called as item level table. Go to SA16, enter table name CDHDR. Now, our object class is we have given the name as ZEMP underscore master2. So, this is our object class z e m p underscore master 2 so in the object class enter z e m p underscore master 2 and the object id is our primary key which is nothing but ph1020 this is my employee id which i use so we can see one chain log document is created so in the cd sdr the primary key is object class the object id and the chain number so we can see the user developer has done the changes on 28.7 at this time. Now let's move to the CDPOS table. So here we have to pass the object class, the object ID, and the chain number from the CDSDL table. Copy this chain number, pass here, execute. Oh, sorry, this second CTHGR table. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to go to CDPOS, CDPOS table. Pass the object class ZMP underscore master to object ID as PH1120, and this is the chain number. Hmm. Now we can see here system has captured only two changes one is for the marital status, the old value is blank, and the new value is married second for the data but the old value is this one and the new value is done there is no system has not captured the changes which are made in the designation why because as i explained the prerequisite the, all the data elements should be marked as change document okay so in our table i have marked only to data but and the marital status I have not marked change document for the designation field. Let's have a look in the table. This is my data element. Here I have change document. Second is the marital status. Here again I have the change document. Now this is the designation. See designation I just use the predefined type character T. 
so it is not marked here okay so we need to keep in mind for all the fields for which we want to capture the changes should be marked as change document in at the data element level so in this way we can implement the chain log object in a program for a custom multiple program thank you